Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morphite Project, and today we actually want to go and, you know, start fixing some parts up. So, I think we're gonna start with this one first, you know, add this to the collection of this one, and then, you know, get that up and running properly. Um, no further ado, I think let's get started on it, shall we? So, um... The whole idea here is that we're going to be fixing the uh, bit that we have been leaving behind, which is this right here, this area. So first things we need to do is figuring out like how we connect it. So it should be connected right... Uh, this one? Uh, we can start with this one. It's not that big of a deal really. Um, so yeah, we're gonna connect these two with each other, right? Is that possible? These two connecting works, right? Yeah, it works. Alright, we're gonna do that. And now we should merge these two as well with each other, so... We're gonna look for what is and what is not. So this one right here... We don't need that one. But you can already see that we have a problem. The problem is right here, over here, where we have this bit of uh, drawing that we cannot afford. So we're going to be removing that. And this will make the drawing look far more cleaner once we're doing it like this. So now we're going to be looking for the line. There you go, the lines that we have. And uh, we're going to add them to our drawing. So we're going to merge these two with each other. Uh, merge. There we go. And now we should have one and the same. Which is nice. Of course, we do also want to have these two the same, so we're going to merge them as well. But as you can see, there are some problems here and there with the uh, whole drawing itself. Um, the main issue is that uh, one of the parts right here has some different colors than the other parts, but for the rest, looks decent. No further ado there, but we're gonna fix this. So, first things first, we need to figure out, like, uh, we have already this detailed part, and we don't have this detailed part right here. So, as you can see, um, we have this part right here, which we can use to create more detail in it. And that is exactly how we're doing it. Um, by the way, did you know that I actually have been doing a lot of things today? Um, I actually figured out how to draw some proper, uh, hair. <clears throat> Only took me like three hours to finally figure out how to do hair. It's one of those things that I don't normally do that good. So finally figuring out how to do it, it was a uh, kind of an, uh, good, uh, a good, a good thing that happened to me, honestly. Because most of the problems that I always face with drawing things, like hair and uh, faces, they always look so strange uh, towards my uh, whole idea of how I, how I approach things. Most likely that's because of um, I am not used to facial recognition. Because, you know, I don't go... Uh, I don't see a lot of people, or I don't pay attention to their faces most of the time. I'm more uh, a person that goes on sound sound and environment, and not on people. And you could say that I'm not a very good people person. But the whole, the whole problem is then, you know, because I didn't pay attention on facial recognition and on, on those things, uh, some things when I'm drawing things, they look different. They look like very out of whack, out of shape because, you know, they're not uh, the way of how things work. Like, for instance, I can draw a tree bark. That's that's not a big deal. The main issue is that the tree box look nice, they, they feel nice, but they also need to feel real. And therefore, you know, this is why we have this. We have this drawing right here that gives us the idea of the tree park itself. So, with a little bit of, you know, meddling with the texture itself, meddling a little bit with the lines that we already have established, we can create this uh, better feeling for the tree. 
it creates this kind of feeling that the tree does look like a tree and not acts on its own like a piece of cardboard. But of course, you know, we do want to make sure that we have some existing parts here and there. We're just only extending the uh, line, line, uh, the uh, line art a bit to make it more viable for our uh, end result. That's most likely the case of it all. So yeah, I'm very happy upon the result right now. We're that we're booking. Don't get me wrong there. I'm very happy upon it. Most of the most of the problems that we, uh, I came across with this drawing is that the uh, lines of it uh, of the drawing don't work properly, and by fixing that, it it saves me a lot of trouble. So yeah, today we're gonna be fixing this bad boy up. You know, getting all of this uh, issues with this tree, creating more detail in the tree. Even though you know we're we're we we decided on you know we could also make different kind of trees with different kind of details, and I was like, nah, it's better just to keep on with the original idea of the tree itself. We already know how to. Uh, we already know that you know if we make the tree too detailed, uh, things will go away. But because we have a blur trail, we can actually uh, create field of depth, and therefore you know we can loosen the detail a bit. Therefore, you know, make it more easier for the eye to understand that this is just a tree and they're not supposed to be focusing on the tree. They can focus on the tree, but eventually, you know, it will pop off from the radar. That's the idea of it. Like, for instance, with eyes or something like that. Oh, my God. Um, it's those things that, you know, I never have paid attention on it. I never did. Honestly, the best eyes I had like the, were these kind of eyes. So I had the googly boogly fish eyes all the time, and then, you know, that is a, it's a legit tactic, it's a legit thing to do, but it's not a very good thing for us right now to have. The main issue is that, uh, you know, eventually all of this, all of this hard work on this drawing right here needs to be done, but when you have, like, fi fish eyes and, uh, terrible textures to work with hair, for instance, I had to improve upon myself there. This is why I actually went for the medical girl story in the first place anyway to write. To get myself a little bit out of out of my safety zone, out of my safety net, and start be like, oh yeah, right, if somebody can write something like that, I can write it too, right? And uh, I must say I'm actually quite decent at it now, right now. I'm now at chapter two, so therefore, you know, already is, I know what's gonna go happening, but I do won't need to write it. But yeah, the uh, the drawing of the facial rec the facial recognitions it's uh, getting better and better. Although I do have some trouble with some hair because I designed the hair in such a way, it's a little bit difficult to create because it's an un unusual hairstyle. I think that's the right word for it. So yeah. I'm trying to figuring out how that how to fix that, and then once that is done, I can move on to uh, getting all the other emotions done. And then you know I can make a whole sheet out of it, so I can pick it up and place it on the body. Easy as that, right? And then I only have to rearrange certain types of things or certain types of ways of how the body works or behaves, so there is no problems there. So it's like copy paste. Which is going to be saving me a lot of trouble later on. Of course, I can do some redesigning. Yes, I can, but it will give me a better it will give me a better view, a better uh, beginning, a less rougher start, and doing it every single time all over again, and then you know having this horrible, horrible mess of a drawing. Cheese, Louise. Ah, uh, but yeah. I remember back in the day that I could not even draw a bloody damn bird. And now, you know, I am having... I have done the bird of the drawing part. And now I need to fix the midsection over here. I'm also very happy upon how far 
we are at this uh, drawing right now. The whole tree part, the whole bit upon the tree. We, we, we're just, you know, busy, you know, making the tree look like a tree. And that's most of the work that we need to do. Of course, you know, this work is a little bit complicated because of how the layers are placed and that we have made some mistakes in the layers itself. And by fixing that right now, we uh, we uh, we are making uh, some progress. Of course, you know, the progress should have been lowered if we are if we had started beforehand. But, you know, it's a thing that cannot be avoided sometimes because of how uh, my drawing works. Especially with trees, it's a little bit difficult to understand, like, oh, this is enough tree or this is not enough tree of texture. And sometimes you need more texture and sometimes you don't need that much texture. But you want more texture in your draw in your tree because then, therefore, you know, you create a tree effect. Well, the bar or the bark effect, which is necessary right now, to say the least. All right, we have done it. We have succeeded at drawing the bloody damn tree part here. Now we need to fix the coloration here, here and there, because, you know, we have some color issues. We have some issues right here and there. And let's start with this one right here, and then we're going to do this one as well and fix, uh, fix it up with the color issues and the whole damn thing. So we need to start over to do this properly, I believe. So let's do that first. Because there is no better way to do things properly than just, you know, start over. It doesn't mean that we're ruining it. It just takes, you know, it's just a little bit of time. It's just coloring anyway. And we're doing this for our own good. It will create a better looking tree than we have right now. And uh, once, we add, once we have all the base colors done, then we're going to add the shading to it. We know now that the shading works properly, so that's that's already a good start. But we want this um, the lighting and the shading is a good start. But we want to we know yeah we want well I at least want this to be properly done. So we're gonna draw this, and I draw it on the pencil mode, and I'm drawing it in three point six. Yes. All right, good. So. So yeah, learning how to do certain types of moves, learning how to do certain types of texturing, it it creates some kind of effect that really helps you guiding towards your end goal. Like my end goal is making the illustration of the book, and then finally be able to, well, publish it on some on some page or platform, whatever I want to do it, and then can say to me or can say to anybody like, hey guys, I made this. Not just like, you know, I made this. No, it's more like, hey, I made this. And it it gives us kind of success. Probably that's the word, right? Success. It gives me a satisfaction of knowing that I did something good. Knowing that I created something that I liked, that I had fun with. I made it my own and I mastered it. Let's put it that way. Well, not master it, but, you know, I have expertise now in it. Which is already a good achievement, nonetheless. And I really like the idea alone already upon, you know, getting better at it, creating better better things. And who know where we're going to strand with that. The idea of already knowing that I can create my own visual novel on my own with no help from other people it uh, it gives me uh, it gives me like a uh, kind of motivation towards better things uh, it gives me motivation upon you know knowing that you know everybody can make it if if some random bloke can do it then you know everybody can make it it's just the way of how you treat it it's just the way of how you want to uh, want to treat it If I want to create something, I can do that. And if I if I want to share it with people, I can do that as well. And knowing now that I can create this in such a way that it will help me guide towards the end goals, then yeah, don't mind me if I do. Also, you know, 
It's like big steps towards a bigger picture. But eventually it all comes down to, you know, basic things, basic reputation, basic ideas that, you know, eventually add up to one big spectacular uh, thing. And I really, I really like this about it. I really like this about it because it gives me the courage, it gives me the hope that, you know, if I can do it, then everybody can do it. If everybody can do it... Wait, hold on, where is that place then? Hmm. Oh, this is still not... Wait, hold on a sec. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I know that you are coming from somewhere, but where? Is it from here? No. Is it from here? No. Are you from here? No, no. No, 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 no. All right. Are you from here? No. No. Hmm. Alright, so it's up. Oh, is it then this one? Oh, it is this one. Well, we need to remove some of it. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry, but we need to remove some of this work. Thank you. That looks much more better. Now I need to go back to... Uh, this bad boy over here. Good. So, the idea alone, you know, creating the effects that can guide you towards your end goal, it's, it's, it's quite fascinating to see, you know, all the things you do on the way. Like, you know, creating, creating a story is already a hard thing to do, and then creating a visual novel of it, you know, it requires a lot of things. It requires you to edit, it requires you to draw, it requires you to create a believable story. It it all, you know, comes into one. Of course, you know, I try to do my very best to create this story. I am not intending to create a make I'm I'm intending to make a make believe story, yes, but I'm trying to not create it in such a way that it is non uh how do you say that? Uh if I want to create a story I want to make sure that I can laugh at it. Then that's most likely the case. It might have, like, you know, comedy that I like. Some people might not like it. Some people might even hate it. Like, you know, oh my god, these jokes are so dry. But you know, those jokes made me laugh back in the day. And I had, and I, I felt like, you know, jokes can, might, might can get old, but they never, they never, they, they're still good. They're just old. Because everybody heard about them again, and again, and again, and again. So, and then people will ask, like, why would you bother making such jokes? If the jokes are so old, why are you doing it again? And I'm like, well, because I really like those jokes. They're actually quite funny. Even though they might be, be a little bit, uh, you know, out of whack. Or out of time. But then, you know, making sure that the jokes fit, it... Uh, when you make sure that the jokes fit the story, then, you know, there is no problem there. This is the main idea, you know. You're, you're trying to fit your story so that you can you can tell the jokes. You don't have to tell the jokes. I like to tell so stories, but, you know, I like to have some humor inside of it because, you know, it's it's quite funny to do certain things, you know. When you joke about somebody getting upset about something and you're like, Ha! Huh, you're getting upset about this? Oh my god, wow. What a loser, you know. Making some in-jokes, making some references, it's always great. Don't overdo it, though. That's the worst. But yeah, I'm trying to get the point, I'm trying to get the story across, you know, making sure that the story works, getting all the events add up 
Because, you know, eventually you still have a make-believe uh, world where, you know, you need to keep your uh, reader invested and therefore, you know, you need to make sure that the make-believe of that, of that story, uh, of the story uh, keeps consisting. It needs to have a consistent plot, it needs to have, a, it needs to be pushed forward and not stagnated by random events. Well, it can stagnate, but it's not supposed to be going every single time. It's gonna be stagnated. No, 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 no. That's that's a horrible idea. You should put some effort in trying to get the story to progress. Like for instance, you know, once they finally have something new, they can then finally beat one of the henchmen or something like that, and then you know you can move onwards. Like for instance, uh, the idea is that you know they're trying to get some information out of some random. A random person in the library then turns out to be an arc uh, ar an archivist that helps them develop their powers even more better but of course you know the girls are gonna get backstabbed by this archivist because you know he found the crystal and then you know he becomes the grand amicus a very powerful wizard the only downside is you know eventually his own down downfall is gonna be you know that he is you know using the power wrongfully, therefore causing himself to lose his powers. Which is quite ironic, but you know, when you go mad with power, there is always a guy who is when you're when you're strong and powerful, there is always a guy above you. That's that's the moral of that plot. About that plot. But of course, you know, eventually when the, when the guy is defeated, the girls have new powers that they can use to defeat some people. Which of course leads to one of the main protagonists, Mr. Angus Man. The, the guy, the man, the mad, the lad. The guy who's always angry. Angus. <laughs> he calls himself Angler Man because he always has this device to grab people and suck their power out. But because the girls then have multiple powers, it means that, you know, some of the powers are non related to the crystal they are related to the crystal, but they're not they are not the crystal powers itself. Therefore, they have new powers, therefore Angus will lose. Because, you know, if you uh, if you look at it at a scientific point, is that the flaw of the flaw of the care the flaw of the main uh, one of the main bad guys is that he must adapt to be better than the girls. But because the girls come up to with something new, he cannot adapt to it, so therefore he loses the battle. It's like a it's like a dual edged sword, you know. You you win if you know what you're doing. Or, uh, when you can counter every single thing you put, but realistically you cannot counter for every circumstance, and that's that's all right. You know that's that's the main moral of the story anyway. You cannot you cannot count for everything to go your way or the way you want it, and that's all. And that's the whole point of Angus itself. He's he's a man devoted to do his work for science devoted his work to do everything right by the book and then you know his whole his whole downfall is that he just you know got not in that position of riding the bus the bus rode him instead which can cause two major major problems later on oh hey after you gaming <laughs> yes haha <laughs> yes absolutely indubitably Oh, look at that, I can actually now add more to this, right? Oh, yes, I can. Look at that, we are fixing our own mistakes. How nice. And now we have this, we can now add more to it. Because as you can see, there are some issues here and there that I have. Like, for instance, this tree right here is now lovely made. But there are some issues in it. For instance, A, is there are... Too much of big gaps around the drawing itself. So what we're gonna do is add some more, you know, lines to it, and then those lines can follow up the lines that we have been left leaving behind. This will cause the size of the drawing. Uh, this will cause the size of the tree or the bark to be more better than before. I really like how this is all going anyway. It makes it makes things more precise, and. I'll, I'll I'll show you the whole idea of what I'm doing, you know, pays off. I'll show you the payoff, all right? I will show you the payoff. After, you know, the time comes and the time is like, oh no, it's already time. We need to quit, you know, that, that time, the time when I need to leave. 
I'm gonna do something else like playing video games. I don't know. Probably that. Because you know you cannot do always drawings. You you can do drawings, but you cannot do it all the time. That is quite wasteful. Um right here. Here's a good place, right? So yes. So now we're gonna fix this part right here. So we're gonna remove the bits that we have. And this already you can already see that a lot of this a lot of this is already, you know, getting far better than before because of all how the drawing gets. It takes some time, you know, to figure out like Oh, we need to go this way. Oh, oh, we need to go that way. But eventually, you know, you will get to the point where you need to be. And that's a good point. Eh. Well, that sound that sound very uh, inconvenient. But yeah, once you once you get to the point where you need to be, you don't need to worry too much. But you still need to go to that point. And uh, you know. When you make all the when you make all this all these discoveries on your way towards your point towards the point you want it to be, it does create the feeling of you know nice n nice ideas, fixing a lot of issues that uh, that I have like you know, with more than with more than uh, with more than writing it's all like, ugh, these people don't feel like people at all, and. That's my main issue, you know. That's my main issue. I know people. I am terrible at dealing with people. But I have people experience. Not the good kind of people experience, but I have people experience. And when I compare those people towards the people that, you know... Uh, when I ha when I have, like... I have, like, a list of people that I don't like. Like, well, mentally, not, not physically. But I have a list of people that I don't like. And then, you know, all those books, all those comic books that are coming out, they all have that lovely little sentence of, you know, the feeling of like, oh man, I don't like this person. Why don't I like this person? Because it is written in such a way that it's unlikable. And I don't know why, but it, it it's, it's a real shame. So that's why I actually joined the whole idea of, you know, that's why I joined this book club and... Uh, you know, and, and then I was like, you know what? If people can write their own books, so can I. Good bait, sir. And uh, I uh, I started writing and I was like, well, um, where do I start? And I was totally, you know, flabbergasted on how much work it takes, how much time it consumes. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm doing this. I am, I am not, not happy upon, you know, how much work it takes. So... It took me a time to uh, not get overwhelmed by all the things that you need to do, all the motions, all the handling that you want to do with it. So eventually, you know, we got to the point where or I got to the point where um, I need to be, you know, and I was like, man, this looks already great. I already can feel it. I can already feel the whole story playing out. But that's only... Because I fixed the bloody damn plot. <laughs> if I didn't fix, if I didn't put all the necessary events in this story, uh, the story would have gone like, you know, po from point A to point B, we get teleported to point C. And then, you know, in point C, something happens. The end. It, it does take time to come to a realization that you need uh, certain types of events to happen beforehand. Otherwise, the story won't connect to each other, and therefore, you know, your references get lost. And that was one of the hardest parts to do. You know, you want to make a reference to something, or you want to make a you might you want to make a connection between A and B, but you have only C, so you need to write. So you need you need to write, uh, you need to write uh, the rest of uh, A one, A two, and A three to con uh, to connect it to B. But you need to make it in such a way that it is quickly and uh, quickly and uh, very fast upon pointing. 
So when you have A and B, you want to be like, ah, oh, they're talking about they're talking about event A in chapter four. Ah, uh, yeah, I've read it about that. I have read about that. That's actually quite cool that they have referenced that. Or, you know, oh, that's because B, uh, B happened, and now we're at C, but B is now also here as an event. Oh, that's actually quite nice. You know, have a reference towards you want to do. Because if you have B suddenly appear while B is not introduced, then, well, you're going to have a very bad day. Honestly, that's uh, one of those things that can happen. Um, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Let's see how far we are. Let's see if this looks nice. So oh, it does. It does so much. Thank you so much about this, my friend. All right. Look at that. That tree looks good. That tree looks decent. That tree looks like a good old-fashioned tree that I want to know about. That's a good tree. Good job, tree. Well done. Of course, it has now blend, uh, a blend. It has now the blend uh, effect on it, so it is only two colors. But once we add the lighting to it, it will be looking far better. So we have now this, and this is this. Oh yeah, it is. It's less detailed because this one is actually further away than this one, but it does represent it. It does feel like it, and so therefore it is good. Hey, we deal. We dealt with A. We dealt with point A. Good. So we did. We did point A. So point A is now there, and point B is right here. And now we have this. Uh, now we have this bloke of a. Uh, we have now this bloke of a group, we which we need to teleport. Like, uh, we need to teleport this. We need to teleport this to point C, right? Yeah, we need to teleport this to point C. So, we're going to teleport this to point C. So, we're going to put this right around here. Now, I want this to be in here, you dummy. Alright. Now we have point C in there. Who would have thought? So, now that we have point C in here, we also want to make sure that point C is also there. Here we go. We have the problems. So, uh, what we now need to do is figuring out, like, all right, so this is the coloration of, this is the thing that needs to be all the time in there. So this is the, this is the big chungus. This is the biggest boy ever that needs to be drawn in, but also needs to be doing. This is the last one we want to do. So we're going to lock this ba bad boy down. But we're gonna move it in the group. In the group, not in outside the group, you dumb idiot. So in the group. Eh. Mouse is not responsible for this all the time. Also, I made a copy of it, which is stupid. We don't need a copy. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for a copy. How can you copy something when you have a merge? When you have a locked thing on it cheese all right so we have now point uh, we have point b b shenanigans i made a mistake on this one but don't worry about it i got this no need to worry um so yeah now we need to figure out like all right so we have the drawing uh no Now we need to figure out where the where is the uh, uh, is there another one? Probably. Yeah, well, let's not do this one. Go away. All right. Well, this is the part that we need. This is the part that we need to merge with Mr. Shady Pants. So we're going to go here, grab this bad boy, and draw it straight ahead underneath this. Now we have two of these. Now we can add this into the 
uh, Merge button, I believe. Yes. There we go. Now we have Mr. Merge button. And now we have already one, two, three, du three dudes connected with each other. Which is good. Which is good. Now comes the hardest part. We do want all of this still there. We want... Do we want this bad boy? We want this. We want all the colors in there and all the lines. But we also need this one. So we're going to move this one over here. Over here. Thank you. And then we're going to move it over here, above this. Thank you. So now we have the lines overlapping with each other, which is good. That means we can now spot any inconvenience, which don't exist, because that's how, because this is separate from that part, so therefore there's nothing. To be worried about, I believe, right? Nothing here that is any wrongful doing. Nope. Alright, we're gonna merge them soon then. But first we're gonna be looking at this. So if we now look back again in the in the, to this, we can see now that the tree actually looks already a far more fleshed out on the idea of it. So we already have connected now two of the tree, so therefore, you know, we are, um, we have now one connected, and then we need only one more connected, and then we have everything there. So that's good. Um, 40 minutes. Let me just, let me just connect this and then, you know, call it a day, because it is, it is quite confusing sometimes. All right, we're going to merge this with the layer below, therefore, you know, lowering the size of the product again. We're from 5.7 to 5.6, which is good, you know, we, we like, we like, we like tiny little objects of paintings instead of big objects, which take way too much space, which is a thing, you know, it happens. So now we are here, we're back into business, we're back into our great and glorious idea, and, uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, this right here. And we're going to add some more lines to it. So the idea here is that we're going to be drawing those lines. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. Draw those lines. And we're going to add that to our drawing. So, there you go. You can already see that this actually looks quite nice already, but it lacks some it lacks some certain subtlety, it lacks some of the line arts that need to be drawn into it, because you know it's a tree. You want you want some new, innovative ideas of it. You you want this to be like you know a cool looking effect that keeps on going. Of course, you know. Not everything can be drawn into it, but we can certainly create some more, uh, more detail into the tree itself, because it's quite important that we do so. Because, you know, trees. We want to have a cool looking bark skin, we do, we do want to have like this effect of, you know, hey, we're drawing big, giant, chunky old boys, and uh, we want to make sure that the chunk is uh, quite chunky. So therefore, you know, we need to have a big, big boy. Uh, the main problem is here that we actually need to do this softly, otherwise we might ruin the whole drawing itself again, but eh, should have made a backup then. Uh, we'll do that in the next one. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's just that we need to create this kind of effect that the uh, box skin is everywhere. And creates texture. 
Well, that's a very, very terrible turn there. There you go. But yeah, we we want we want the same thing as with the other one. We want to connect more stuff towards it. We want to create this box skin. We don't want to create this strange looking alienated plant. We do want to create this natural feeling of bark. Honestly, this is going to be taking a while to do, but hey, you know. Better late than sorry, I guess. Mm. And this should be it then, right? No, 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 no. There are still some stuff. There's still some lines we can still cross here. Uh, no, 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 no. There you go. This one right there. And this should be it. Right? Yes, this should be it. This should fix the tree. So now we're going to go here. And then we're going to do this. Save it. Ooh, come on. Thank you. And we're going to remove the core that we have created the first time. Now we can see some stuff here and there that needs some love. Let's put it that way. We can see now where there are some issues here and there that might need some love. Um, but we can see that that should be fine. much better because we do want we do want to have some more ideas on top of it laying around because the more gaps we make the worse it's gonna get This should be fine then. All right. Um, I think I think I will leave it here then, right? Probably. Yeah, that's a good fine place. But before I go, I just wanted to show you guys what I mean with progress. So I'm gonna be saving this bad boy up, and then um, gonna load in some uh, lovely little old-fashioned files that I have been leaving behind. Honestly, you know, it's going to be much better. So just going to be opening this one. There you go. And let's go for this one. Uh, let's go for this one as well. It's a good, that's a good one for progress. And then go for this one. And then open the other one as well. Which is us. this one. Oop. This one and the other one, which I'm now working. So there you go. Of course, you know this this is not fully functional yet, but it will get there. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I went from um, as you can see, uh, the design on the face was a major problem here with the drawing, 
and you know this is the original design of Mina anyway so I thought like well you know I need to keep the hairstyle and the idea of how it works but you know eventually you know I went from uh, I went from that I went to redesign it which is nice you know quite a good uh, quite a good redesign seeing how things might work and how how to look for it and then you know I went with this I went with this kind of uh, idea of uh, eyes instead of this one I actually went with this kind of idea of eyes which is not too bad honestly let me say so myself I, I really like I really like the looks on it and then you know I also made the uh, I made the other fa uh, face kind of look and then you know I'm now figuring out like how to do the hairstyle here and there to make it look vo uh, to make more volume on it but then you know I also uh uh looked for seeing how I can make the angle of the face turn so that is a major issue I have right now that is very hard for me while well, keeping you know the style that I made with the uh, drawing right here and now s seeing if I can turn it around getting more different poses different uh, uh different uh emotions in it so you can see that there are some major uh, improvements upon the drawing on upon the drawing skills which is really nice because we went from potato head to pretty decent face mm. and i think that is an achievement for a long long time non seen so i'm very happy upon this i'm very happy upon seeing improvement upon my own art style which is nice so um no further ado i want to wish you all a lovely day and uh, bye